Hello, hi, and Namaskar everyone. Today in the video, okay, this will be an interesting topic if you can grab the information or knowledge which I'm going to share. Let's get rolling. The intricate dance of hormones, how they control your hunger, uh, eating and satiety. Have you ever wondered why we get hungry or why you sometimes feel full after eating a small meal while other times you can't seem to get enough? The answer lies in the complex interplay of hormones in your body. Hormones are chemical messengers that travel through your bloodstream influencing various physiological processes. When it comes to hunger and satiety, several key hormones play crucial roles including ghrelin, leptin, insulin and peptide Y. Ghrelin is referred or often referred to as the hunger hormone because it's produced in the stomach and it leaves and its level rises when you are hungry. Ghrelin signals to use your brain that it's time to eat. Ghrelin is produced by our body's fat cell and it communicates with your brain to signal that you have enough energy stores and don't need to eat more. However, in individuals with obesity, leptin resistance can occur where the brain does not respond to leptin signals leading to overeating. Insulin is produced by the pancreas and it helps regulate blood sugar levels by facilitating the uptake of, uptake of glucose into cells. After eating, insulin levels rise, promoting satiety. However, similar to leptin, insulin resistance can devel develop, particularly in individuals with type 2 diabetes, disrupting the normal hunger and satiety signals. Peptide YY is a hormone released in the gut in response to eating. It helps promote feelings of fullness and satiety. Studies have shown that individuals who eat a high protein diet have higher peptide YY levels and consequently experience less hunger. Understanding the hormone or hormonal control of hunger, eating and satiety provides valuable insights into human health and disease. It sets lights on the physiological underpinnings of conditions such as obesity and diabetes and can inform strategies for weight management and healthy eating. While we may not have conscious control over these hormonal signals, being aware of them can help us make informed dietary eating choices and understand the biological factors that influence our eating behavior. Want to learn more about fitness, nutrition and dietetics? Please share your suggestion or comments or interest in the comment section below it's my heightened pleasure that you have taken or given your precious time for watching the video take care everybody bidding adieu